Imagine a world gripped by ice, where mammoths tromped through frozen plains and saber-toothed tigers stalk their prey beneath shimmering auroras. This isn't just fantasy, it's the reality of Earth's ice ages, a grand saga etched in ice and snow. But what caused these colossal chills? And how did life endure the icy waltz? Hello, and welcome to another episode of Journey Through Time. Today we will discuss the Ice Age. When was the last Ice Age? Why did it happen? Will it happen again? We will try to answer all these questions and more. Buckle up, because today we're diving into the science behind Earth's epic dance with frost. The conductor of this icy symphony is none other than our sun. Earth's tilt, wobble, and orbit, known as Milankovitch cycles, influence how much sunlight reaches different parts of the planet. Think of it like a cosmic thermostat. Slight changes can tip the scales between warm summers and frigid winters. Let me explain. The term obliquity refers to the tilt of Earth's axis of rotation as it orbits the sun, and it is the reason behind the existence of seasons on our planet. Over the past million years, this obliquity has fluctuated within the range of 22.1 to 24.5 degrees concerning Earth's orbital plane. When the tilt angle is larger, it tends to promote phases of deglaciation, characterized by the thawing and retreat of glaciers and ice sheets. It's important to note that these effects are not uniformly distributed across the globe. Regions at higher latitudes experience a more significant alteration in total solar radiation compared to areas closer to the equator. This non-uniform distribution plays a crucial role in influencing the climate dynamics and patterns of glaciation and deglaciation on Earth. The Earth undergoes a subtle wobble that alters the orientation of its North Pole, consequently transitioning the seasons from prolonged and brief to moderate and intense. As our planet revolves, it exhibits a slight wobbling motion along its rotational axis, akin to a slightly off-center spinning toy top. This wobbling phenomenon is a result of tidal forces generated by the gravitational influences of the sun and the moon, inducing a bulging effect at the equator that influences Earth's rotational dynamics. This wobble also influences the climate dynamics and in turn affects the Ice Age phenomena. The Earth's orbit around the sun deviates from a perfect circle, resulting in fluctuations in the amount of solar radiation received throughout the year. The annual rotation of Earth around the Sun is characterized by this eccentricity. This variation is accountable for the slight disparity in the lengths of our seasons, with summers in the Northern Hemisphere presently lasting approximately 4.5 days longer than winters. These cycles, like a celestial tuning fork, vibrate at different frequencies. These phenomena are pivotal for the amount of solar radiation that reaches the Earth. We can estimate the temperature pattern in the distant past by examining the ice cores of the polar regions. If we superimpose the calculated solar radiation and the temperature in the past, we see the pattern matches well. This is how we may predict the future ice ages. But solar radiation isn't the only player in this triggering of the Ice Age. Volcanic eruptions can spew dust and ash into the atmosphere, blocking sunlight and triggering cooling. Continental drift, the slow waltz of land masses, can alter ocean currents and redistribute heat, influencing global temperatures. And then there's the dance of greenhouse gases like methane, trapped in ice hydrates, waiting to be released 
and warm the planet. Possibly the first ice age was the Huronian period. This is between 2.4 to 2.1 billion years ago. The Huronian glaciation is believed to have been caused by a lull in volcanic activity. During this time, oxygen reacted with methane to form carbon dioxide and water, which are weaker greenhouse gases than methane. This reduced the greenhouse effect, especially as water vapor precipitated out of the air with dropping temperatures. The second ice age was the Cryogenian period, between 720 and 635 million years ago. The Earth's second snowball fight, land masses collided, ocean currents shifted, and the planet dipped into a deep freeze, with glaciers reaching the equator. The third ice age was the Ordovician period, between 445 and 440 million years ago. Another icy waltz triggered by volcanic activity and continental drift. Oceans froze, life clung to survival, and the Earth shivered in its third major ice age. The fourth ice age was the Permian period. Between 260 and 252 million years ago, this was the most devastating freeze. A giant meteor impact triggered volcanic eruptions and sent shock waves through the climate, wiping out 96% of life in a global ice coffin. The extreme cold killed off most marine species. Some scientists believe that a series of volcanic eruptions released sulfur dioxide into the Earth's atmosphere, blocking out the sun and triggering the ice age. This caused a significant drop in temperature and prevented plant photosynthesis, which in turn caused food chains to collapse. The fifth and last major ice age is the Quaternary Period. It started 2.6 million years ago and continues to the present day. This is the ice age that we know best. Glaciers marched across continents, carving valleys and sculpting landscapes. Woolly mammoths roamed, saber-toothed tigers hunted, and we, Homo sapiens, rose to its prime in this icy symphony. We talked about the major ice ages. Each of these major ice ages has many minor ice ages. These are the times when there is smaller temperature fluctuation, but in between the ice ages, we have interglacial periods, when there is a substantial temperature rise. Presently, we are in an interglacial period for the past 11,700 years. Around 11,700 years ago, the Earth started to warm again. The icy grip loosened, glaciers retreated, and forests reclaimed the land. This period, the Holocene, is the one we call home. A time of human civilizations, technological advancements, and a delicate dance with our planet's climate. It is the warmer climate that must have contributed massively towards the growth of humanity. The warmth in the atmosphere made them more active and brought them outdoors. But our story isn't over. Human activities like burning fossil fuels are adding greenhouse gases to the atmosphere, speeding up the temperature rise in the Earth's atmosphere. This may in turn affect the Ice Age cycles in several ways. The Earth naturally cycles between ice ages and interglacial periods, driven by Milankovitch cycles and other factors. The rapid increase in greenhouse gases due to human activities is causing global temperatures to rise much faster than they would naturally during an interglacial period. This could potentially shorten the current interglacial period and bring the next ice age sooner than expected. The Milankovitch cycles of Earth's tilt, wobble, and orbit are major factors in driving ice ages. However, 
the rapid warming caused by human activities could mask or even disrupt these cycles, making it difficult to predict the future of ice ages with certainty. The complex interplay between human activities, climate change, and ice ages is still not fully understood. There could be unforeseen consequences of our actions, such as changes in ocean currents, extreme weather events, or the release of methane hydrates from the ocean floor, further impacting the future of ice ages. Overall, the impact of human activities on ice age cycles is a complex and uncertain issue. While it's difficult to say definitively what the future holds, it's clear that our actions are having a significant impact on the Earth's climate, and the potential consequences of ice ages are something we need to carefully consider and prepare for. When is the next ice age coming? Here's what we currently know. Milankovic cycles suggest a gradual warming trend for the next 50,000 years. However, human activity is accelerating global warming, potentially changing the time of the next ice age occurrence. However, the exact timing of the next ice age remains uncertain due to the complex interplay of factors. It's important to note that the Earth's climate is constantly changing, and even small changes can have significant consequences. While the next major ice age might not be imminent, we need to continue researching and understanding the factors that influence climate change so we can prepare for the future, whatever it may hold. As we conclude our journey through the icy chronicles of time, we marvel at the resilience of our planet enduring and adapting through the ages. Ice ages have shaped the landscapes we know today, leaving behind a frozen legacy etched in the rocks and ice sheets. Join us next time as we continue to explore the wonders of our world and unravel the mysteries that lie beneath the surface. If you enjoyed this journey, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to Journey Through Time for more exciting explorations.